So, imagine if you will, you're out cruising around your property on your tractor, getting some chores done, having a good day, when all of a sudden, the crust of the earth just opens up and you fall down into the abyss. Am I off to a good start? <laughs> yeah, you're making it very much more theatrical than it is. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how, that's how we get a bunch of views. And while you're sitting and down there, in the bottom of this mysterious pit, wondering just what happened, a smell hits your nose, and you realize, <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here, and you realize that you just fell into a septic tank that you didn't know you have. Well, that is what happened to Ben here at 406 Garage, and now the forklift is in a septic tank, and we got to get it out. Did, did, I, did I pretty much nail that? Yeah, I think you got it. So. The forklift fell into the septic tank down there uh, that you didn't know was here because yeah. this isn't your septic tank. No, to be fair, this property was developed in the 70s and this was not on any of the maps or any of the plots or any of the re records that I got. And we had the property inspected when we got it and this was nobody knew this was here. How long, have, how long have you lived here? I've lived for 10 years. And I've driven over this with the Peterbilt and my trailers and trucks and transport guys and forklifts. Everything's driven over this. This has never happened. Uh, I guess the silver lining is I'm glad it happened now instead of when there was a semi truck here that was loading trucks or cars. And then the semi truck fell in and then I call you and then we're doing this with a semi and a trailer. And, I don't know. That would have been pretty good for my videos too. That would have got you some views. <laughs> So I've got the big roll back here and I'm going to bring it around here behind. I think I'm going to try to pull it up and out to get that back over here. But then the problem is we're straddling the hole. I don't want to go forward. One, I don't have much room to set up and pull. And two, I don't want the back end that is what is holding it up to fall in and it get worse in the hole. So yeah, the biggest fear I think is if we disturb the dirt on the other side too much, that tire risks going in the hole and then we've got the entire back of this thing underground. Yeah, that's why I'm afraid to pull it forward and having right. that back counterweight drop into the hole exactly. too. And now we have a bigger stuck. So the majority of the weight of this machine is right there. Well, also if you look right there, there's the, uh, the oil pan of the transmission or drive box in there is like that far off the ground. So yeah, we want it to go that. farther away from the ground instead of farther to it. So yeah. I have an idea. It involves that rollback. Now we need to execute the idea. Yeah. And see what sort of failures come about. Yep, and then come up with a new idea. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this hole right here, the snatch block, and get this nice and close so I gain some lift to pull it up and out of the hole. And then we'll try to stick the bed under it and load it on the bed to bridge over the hole. Okay. Never said you were good at this. I'm not. Not at all. At least we weren't doing this two days ago when it was snowing. Yeah. Or this, this afternoon when it's going to be raining. Yeah, this is not would not be a fun snow recovery. All snow recoveries are fun snow recoveries. This this wouldn't be a fun one. I got. That just makes you lazy. My life just got so much easier. Careful what okay. you say. You want the leg down? Yeah, I totally do. Problem is, the remote doesn't work for the wheel lift. Oh. I have to do that like all manual stuff. So it's only a partial remote.
Okay, your front tire is getting close. See what's left of the fiberglass tank, kind of. Too bad we don't have smell o vision. And I was corrected today. It is a sheaves with a V. I mean, I see it kind of looks like a sheep. It does. Head, but it's a sheave. Yeah, with -A, a V. S h e a v. Sheave head. Yeah, I was. Sheep's head. I was trying to say sheep head, sheep's head, and stuff like that, and he corrected me. So. So this is set up so you can pull the cable out of it, and then you can pull this pin down here, and then it tilts and slides off. That is a pretty nice piece of equipment. It looks really light too. Oh yeah. And then it goes over there. And hopefully not on your foot. That was really close to my foot. Yeah, it was. I need to build like a little spot that it hangs and mounts up there. Yeah, you're starting to run out of real estate up there. Uh, yeah, I'm beyond out of real estate up there. Okay. The, the remote kept like cutting out on me. When I held it up, it would go. I was trying to figure out what's going on. I think it's just that cheapo battery that came with it that's who knows how old. Right. So I'll put like a good one in there. I would say that hole is six feet wide by about six feet across and it's probably five feet deep somewhere around there those tires are 54 inches tall so and that tire was basically in the ground and it was sitting on the axle not fun I feel like the battery in these newer cameras lasts longer. I hope so because I forgot my battery pack at home for my extra batteries. Oh. So the one that's in it's all we got. Well, it's got about 80%. You're going to pinch the chain on this side. Huh? You're going to pinch the chain on this side. It's going under the bed. That tire's on the bed. Oh, that tire's on the bed. Okay, it'll roll. Okay. You gotta tilt, it's tilted one way to the, there you go.
forward and it slid off the back into the second tank. And then we got a whole another video. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the Might as well pick those logs up. Not very far. There. Tilt. You want to drive them over there? Next to that one? Yeah, just put just put them over there next to that one, then park this thing like that. Just like we said, we came up with a plan, we started doing the plan, and then we changed the plan. Twice. Yeah. That's okay. But it's, it's out of the hole. So now you've got a sticky hole to fill in. Yeah, with all this dirt right there. All that dirt is from doing all the leveling for my trailers over there, and it conveniently is right next to the hole I gotta fill in. So now I gotta change the starter in my tractor so that I can bring my tractor over so we can fill in your hole. There you go. So that's the next project. <laughs> okay, the well, truck's put away. Forklift is as far away from the hole as I can park it. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I like how you like went all the way over in the corner. No, nah, yeah, you're like, just park it right there. No. Nope, nope. Over there. So you got a. Like. You got a mess to clean up. Yeah. Not today. Not today. You need to like put something else around it right here because you know. It's not for like other people driving through here. It's you are so used to for the last 10 years backing right into here to turn around Very that true. you would be the one to drive look, into this. Look how thin the crust was above the tank right there. And I was driving over that with my semi -tank. Well, look at that. There's the tire mark where the tire was sitting yeah. is right over that thin crust and it yeah. is still over the void of the tank. Right. And I was driving over that for the last 10 years and never had a problem. That's why you would be the most likely one to drive into this if you don't put some cones or something around it. Don't splash that. <laughs> Gotta get the smell of it. No, we don't. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go home. Thank you for your help. No problem. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Uh, a very shitty situation. <laughs> I had to. There's, no, gotta, I could, there's no way I could not put that joke in the there. Puns. You gotta throw yeah. the puns. See you next time. <laughs>